The proper rooster, rooster, rooster. Alright guys, welcome back to episode uh, number two of Harvey's New Eyes. Uh, we finished here in the garden area, in the sort of backyard area with the pump. And um, we can take a look at now what we have here, at the other side of the building, to the well. <laughs> okay. Okay, th that that doesn't look suspicious, suspicious at all. A bee's nest. Let's take a look. Lily liked bees. Their buzzing was so sweet, and they were always so busy collecting honey. And if you look closely, you could even see their stingers twinkle <laughs> cheerfully in the sunlight. <laughs> okay, uh, we probably can't touch it, can we? The idea was good. Ah, but okay. Lily's arms yep. were too short. Her arms were too short. I was. I ah, should have been expecting that. Okay. Um. Off to the convent, the school pond, okay, and uh, a well. The well was deep. No place for a good girl like Lily to play. Okay, and um, what else can we do? Nothing here, nothing here. Well then, what about him? Freeman. Lily's fellow student Freeman was bent over the edge of the well. If he moved forward just a little more, <laughs> he'd fall in. <laughs> just like in Lily's favorite book. <laughs> Okay, let's talk to him. That is already so suspicious. Let's talk to him anyways. Uh. Hmm? Oh, Lily. I thought somebody was there. Don't bug me. I'm busy. Um, we can talk about... Course I'm by Mother Superior. Uh. Don't you have anything to do? Isn't there something you're supposed to be doing for Mother Superior? Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew it. You're <laughs> such a loser for getting constantly stuck with those jobs. What is it this time? Do you have to alphabetically sort the compost again? Nope. Or remove the hair from her back? You. <laughs> no, I gotta get rid of the termites. Don't tell me. You're supposed to get rid of the termites oh, yeah, I don't on have the to swing tell. tree, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, good luck. The swing tree's made of sweet licorice. And termites are known for going crazy over candy. You'll never manage it. All right, I can see what we need then for the termites. Um, and I also have to... Let me guess. You have to dig up the flower beds, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, good luck. That's gonna take forever with your little girly hands. <laughs> but don't think I'll lend you a shovel when I get into the cellar. That is, unless you do want to help me get the key from the bottom of the well. Oh. Uh -huh. That's what I thought. Because it's forbidden, right? Oh, man, Lily. You're so straight, it's a miracle anyone can tell you apart from the trees. <laughs> okay, um, what's inside the well? Uh, didn't I tell you to leave me alone? I'm trying to concentrate, okay? Something is down there in the well. I can see something sparkling. Oh, man, I hope it's the key to the cellar. That would be so gumbo. Is that like the new word, gumbo? Yeah, what is that? Uh, <gasps> Let me guess. You don't know what gumbo is, right? Uh-uh. Oh, Lily, you're just hopelessly square. Guys as cool as me say, that's totally gumbo. <laughs> or, that gumbo is. <laughs> but you're just lame, totally ungumbo. <laughs> okay, um, let's talk about, is it the key? Really, Lily, stop talking so much. <laughs> Unless, talk. of course, you have an idea how I can get the cellar key. Just think of all the things I could do with it. I hear that awesome stuff is stored down there. Not just junk like shovels and brushes and all that. I'm talking about real treasures. Um... Common rules. Um... Is this gonna be another one of your lectures about law and order at the convent? I'm so interested. Um, cellar pan. Oh yeah, you're not allowed to go to go to there. We we're not allowed in the cellar. Jeez, Lily, you're like a broken record. We can't do this. We can't do that. Don't <laughs> drink motor oil. <laughs> Don't play with the electrical ah. sockets. Really know how to spoil all the fun. No wonder no one likes you. Oh, that's mean. And the well is also not allowed. We what now? Can't you see I'm busy with the well? Or did your oh-so-great Mother Superior forbid that too? Uh-huh. Oh yeah? That just proves how absurd adults' rules are. 
Um, the well is deep, though. What? You're still here? Don't creep around like that. I almost fell in the well from fright. Oh, how cute. Are you worried about me now? Or what? Don't worry. I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna climb down into the well. <laughs> but not because Mother Superior has forbidden it. Just because it really is too dangerous. Although... <laughs> the well is too dangerous. <laughs> what? I know that Mother Superior doesn't want us climbing into the well. Why don't you tell someone who cares? On the contrary, that's almost an incentive. I do almost anything to avoid becoming such a conformist little robot like you. <laughs> you can still talk about it, wow. Um, I said get lost. It's none of your business what I'm doing here. Okay, I think that was it. And, um... Selakis. You can blab as much as you want. My complete attention is focused on the cellar key at the bottom of the well. I hear that awesome stuff is stored down there. All right, now we heard everything. And um, we talk to him of the convent bee's nest and then the garden hose. We can take that. And can we... Hmm. Well, we could get it to here. Hey, get lost. Go find another place to play. How sweet. Apparently, Freeman was worried about Lily. <laughs> Maybe he wanted to make sure she wouldn't fall into the well. Probably. Um, well, can we take it to the school pond then? The garden house? No? No. Um, hmm, well then, it seems like we can't do that for now. What else can we do? That seems to have been everything. Yeah, alright, well then, let's go to the convent. Lily wasn't allowed into the convent until the gardening had been no. done. Hopefully, it wouldn't start hailing again. <laughs> um, okay, we, we can't take the host though to to here, right? Hey, get lost! No, we have to Go get lost. find another place to play. How so apparent? All right, yeah, we are that already, and we can't take it to the school pond. All right, well, what then? Huh. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, um, can we, can we connect this to the pump? We can. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, now the pump takes out the water from here and pumps it to the, to the hose end. All right, um, <laughs> I heard the splatter. <laughs> I'm expecting the worst. When Lily returned to the well, Freeman was gone. <laughs> okay, we could put a file in here. And now, um, we should be able to pump the water into the well and then... God, I hope we can swim. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see. Yeah, well, she always comes when, when, when we turn it on. Um, uh, hmm. Can we skip that, actually? That she walks into there? Oh, yeah, double-click. Um, that, that didn't help, did it? Lily! Help! Lily heard strange noises from the bottom of the well. But she was a good little girl, and she knew she wasn't supposed to play near the well. Just like Freeman. She had even told him so herself. Where could he be? I don't know. Where could he be? Um. Oh wait, we've got a hole. <laughs> oh, ah, what's going on, <coughs> Lily? No, go away. Go oh my away. God. I'm allergic. Oh my God. Oh no. Clumsy Lily had actually dropped the bee's nest <laughs> into the well. The bees didn't like it too much either. Oh. Their buzzing sounded different than usual. Um. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, I still don't know how to... What can we do? This hadn't been very effective, but Lily still felt that she had gotten much closer to her goal. We can't really, what can we? <laughs> Mother Superior didn't allow Lily to paint her things in bright colors. Since then, she only painted in black. 
Luckily, that was tolerated. <laughs> what, what can we do then? This hadn't been very effective. No. Um, hmm. I'm already over asked with the current task. I don't really know what to do. If we turn it on, then Mother Superior comes and says that it's too loud. Can't open the cellar door. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Flower bed? Not really, right? Don't bother, Lily. We'll never dig up the treasure without a shovel. Okay, that will work then. Um. Can I get Lily rid of them? quickly realized that she would never get rid of the termites like this. She needed a better plan. Okay, that doesn't work. I was kind of expecting that, to be honest. That ball of wool has so confused me. In the meantime, me. Lily had collected many little treasures. But no treasure was as important to her as her friendship with Edna. That's cute. And, um, can, what can we see about the brush? Lily couldn't paint. <laughs> she would always start crying. Why? Okay, um... Kind of done here everything as well. School pond. Um... How to do that? As soon as we turn this on, then Mother Superior comes. Lily! Have you completely lost your mind? Turn that off immediately. But... Did I not tell you exactly what you should be doing? I just c c can't believe you keep finding new ways to disappoint me. Lily oh, okay. didn't understand what she had done wrong. Hmm, was that another water now, maybe? Oh, we can't even do it anymore. Must have been. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Uh, it doesn't look too good, does he? Uh, <laughs> We've got the key. <laughs> Freeman was a little grumpy, sure, but he looked so funny with those red dots and yellow honey stains. There was no way this could last long. <laughs> okay, okay, the bees is there was as well. <laughs> proud of herself. She had found a way <sighs> to get to the beehive, and the bees still seemed to be fine. Mm. Everyone was happy. Yep, every everyone was happy. <laughs> <laughs> Can we take it? <laughs> Lily thought about collecting the honey with her bare hands. But then she remembered her recent scolding at the cafeteria. <laughs> she needed a better plan. <sighs> okay, um, yeah, we, we got a brush, so that should work out, right? Oh yeah, nice. Okay, so... Honey brush. Now, <laughs> I want to talk to our buddy, though. <laughs> um... <sighs> Lily, <laughs> thanks a lot for your great help. You really did a fantastic job. If I can ever help you... Uh, oh, you want the cellar key, but of course not. What in the world are you thinking? You're the one who got me to go into the well. It's your fault that I fell in. But instead of helping me get out, you throw a beehive on my head and nearly drown me. Look at me. I'm wet, covered in bee stings and smeared from head to toe with honey. I know everyone thinks you're sweet and harmless, but you're actually a walking disaster. <laughs> you can definitely forget about the key. You keep away from me. <laughs> okay, um... We have, we have a honey brush and we need something cute. Something not cute, uh, that is German again. We need something sweet. For the termites. So can we like smear it onto here? The termites responded very excitedly to the honey. To lure them away, Lily just had to find a good spot to spread it on. The tree? Lily would have liked to show the tree all of her great things, but it didn't even want to hear her. Oh well. Lily was used <laughs> to it. <laughs> um Oh, maybe to the compost bin. The compost bin was the ideal place to move the termites yeah. to. Lily started right away. Okay. 
Oh, look, Edna so and Lily. Far, the plan had worked well. Oh. Maybe a little too well. The termites were now following Lily's spilled honey back into the courtyard. Ah! No, don't get away. Oh my god. Strange oh. sounds were oh drifting towards god. her from over there. It was probably the termites celebrating their new home. Sure. Pro um, before we go to there, I want to see that lovely vacation. Edna had apparently left an inscription here. Lily was touched. Edna was Lily's best friend. Yeah, that's pretty cute, isn't it? Um, can we actually play now here? Lily would have loved to have played on the completely harmless tire swing. Uh -uh. That's why she <laughs> oh, yeah. immediately climbed on the tr- uh -uh. At least she would have, but apparently she preferred- Okay, we're there already. Um, so we we did one of the, our tasks for the for the mother superior, but um, um, <laughs> I I I'm assuming some something something bad, and um, I think our friend, our best friend Freeman, he um. Freeman had now left for good, <laughs> but at least the termites had found a new home on the bench. And as if that weren't reason enough to be happy, they had been joined by one of those funny gnomes that Lily sometimes saw around. Oh, God. Oh, my. Uh. Uh. Yeah, okay. Um, I, f I forgot about that. Uh, he, um, he is. Uh, uh, Freeman, where has he gone to? I, I don't know. Oh my god. It looked like the termites had found a new home. Yeah. And one of the gnomes that Lily saw now and then was in the process of painting it in various colors. Yeah, various Too colors. Bad that Freeman was no longer here. This... He would probably have liked it too. Oh my god. <laughs> um that is probably the best way to show something actually violent to a child or how it would imagine it. Um Okay, we we got the cellar key. Freeman had left the cellar key <laughs> for Lily. How nice of him! Jesus Christ! Um. Ah. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> Mother Superior had strictly forbidden the children from playing in the cellar. On the other hand, Lily had a task to finish. Yeah, right. We need to dig up the thingy. The flower pot. A flower bed? I think it's flower bed, right? Um, yeah. <sighs> Freeman, my homie. Can we take some, some kind of food? Lily got along great with Doris, the lunch lady. That's why she knew Doris would start throwing knives if anyone messed up her pantry. Okay. <laughs> Doris seems like a lovely lady. We can't go to her, we can't talk to her. Um, stove? The stove was black and empty. Just like the mirror that always appeared in Lily's <laughs> dreams. Jesus Christ. Um, the air hammer. Can we take that one? Oh. Lily knew that this device was called an air hammer, but she didn't know why anyone would want to hammer air. Yeah, we have that now. Okay, sure. And a shovel that we a need. A shovel? Yeah. Well, that's exactly what Lily needed. Awesome. Okay, what's that all here? There was, there was, oh no, the stove door, we can just close it again. Alright, um, well then let's go again. And, um, what can we do with the air hammer? The heck? <laughs> oh my god, Thomas. Can we like... <laughs> Lily would have liked to show the tree. Oh well. No, no, um, alright, he doesn't want that. Um, the shovel. Yay! You found a shovel! Oh, Lily, you're the best! Let's yeah, no. go waste <laughs> any time and dig up the treasure. 
and Edna and Lily began digging out what they thought was a treasure chest. That's quite a treasure chest. It looks like um. it might have belonged to some space pirates <laughs> once. Mm -hmm. So what? <laughs> they were space pirates from World War II. Who cares? What's more important is that they left us their treasure. Come on, let's open it. I'm so excited. Wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I shortly walk away? Because that's not a treasure. <laughs> There he is, a real treasure chest. It was hard to tell, but Lily was actually speechless. Oh my god, are we gonna blow up? Oh god, no, we're not, right? I mean, they will kill us as well, and everybody. Um. <sighs> That's not gonna work. Once again, more proof that the bad reputation raw violence has is completely undeserved. Here, we certainly won't get far without it. Oh, I need to calm down again, free man. <laughs> um, what? Oh my God! You did it! Hmm. <laughs> and what's that supposed to be? <laughs> Those space pirates must have led a pretty miserable life if this was their most precious treasure. Well, at least we have a fabulous chest, and I yeah. already have an idea what we can do with it. We'll bury our own treasure. Do you have okay. anything on you? Hmm. Uh -uh. Some wool from embroidery class? Yeah. Wow, that's perfect! Our friendship ribbon. The string that ties us both together, uh -huh. so to speak. Come on, put it in there. It's cute. Now we just have to bury the chest again and... Lily! Where did the brat disappear to now? Lily! That's Mother Superior. What does she want now? We should check before she explodes. You have to be careful, you know? Okay. Oh. That took much too long for my liking. Is everyone finally here? Freeman is missing, Mother Superior. <laughs> Say nothing more! Your lack of discipline has reached a level that I can no longer tolerate. From now on, all games on the convent grounds are forbidden. And until further notice, there will be no more dessert, and bedtime will be moved up by an hour. And in case you're wondering, it is the bad behavior of one specific student that has led me to take these measures. In my helplessness, I even decided to call on an expert for help. He's a renowned psychologist who will restore discipline and order here in the convent. The examination will take place this evening. The doctor will drive the mischief out of you once and for all. And I can guarantee this much. It won't be a pleasant experience. A psychological examination? Oh, Lily. I'm sure this is all about me. I desperately need a plan. Meet me near the beds. I'll need your help. Okay. You have the rest of the day off to think about what you've done wrong. I'd better not hear that you've used the time to create more mischief and... Lily, I'm expecting you in my office. Now! I'm uh -oh. very disappointed oh in you, Lily. God. Can you ever do anything right? <laughs> <laughs> not another word. Your constant excuses just make me even angrier. <sighs> And now just don't stand around like an idiot. Well, get a move on. Feed the cat. Can't you see how emaciated Lumpy has gotten again? Oh, stupid ch ch child. <laughs> um, what the heck is that? The cheerful flower seemed to like Lily. <laughs> At least it yeah. bent forward just a touch when Lily came close. <laughs> oh my God. Um, what else do we have? Cat there food. really was a can of cat food in the dumb waiter. There wasn't much for Lily to mess up this time. Yeah, can we take it? We actually can. A dumb waiter. Lily had a basic understanding of how the dumb waiter worked. You took out the food and put the dirty plates back in when you were done. Okay, um, there's some buttons for it. To the gallery. Um, receipt holder. Stop dawdling. Feed the cat. <laughs> Is that really so hard to understand? Feed the cat! Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Um, painting. 
Um, okay, there's no eyes. It's strange. Oh, okay. either there was a picture missing here, or there was one too many hooks. Okay, um, Lumpy, Lumpy was hungry, <laughs> or he was tired, or bored. It was always hard to tell with him. Yeah, <laughs> look at these eyes. Bloody hell, is that kind of dead or something? A pet bowl. Lumpy's bowl was nicely decorated. Life as Mother Superior's pet was probably wonderful and fulfilling. Okay, um, Mother Superior Ignatz. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Okay, she's waiting. We basically can't do anything here. Probably we can't even probably leave. So that all we could do, that was all we could do. All right. Well then, let's put the cat food in the pet bell. Stop! What on earth are you doing? Bad, Lily. Very, very bad. What? You should really know that Lumpy doesn't eat regular cat food. <laughs> um, but you've disappointed me for the last time. Here's the recipe for the right cat food. Bring it to Doris, the lunch lady. It contains exact instructions for preparing Lumpy's food. Doris can also find my lunch order for today on there too. Do you understand? Uh-huh. And now, get out. I have to prepare for Dr. Marcel's arrival. I'm oh. hoping that his new method of correcting character flaws will save me this kind of trouble in the future. Okay. Lily felt miserable. <laughs> Maybe Mother Superior was right, and this character correction would make everything better. The thought made Lily shudder. She had heard stories about Dr. Marcel. Dreadful stories. She should tell Edna the news. Dr. Marcel, oh, okay. you say? This confirms my worst suspicions. The doctor and I still have an old score to settle. I'm sure he's coming because of me. <sighs> Lily, I can't stay here any longer. I'm going to leave the convent and go into hiding for a while. There's just one catch. That guy Garrett, who's constantly lurking around, I think he's spying on us for Mother Superior. So long as he keeps poking his nose into everything, I can't move freely. Do you think you can find a way to keep him off me for a while? Uh-huh. Oh, Lily, you're such a gem. What would I do without you? <laughs> okay. Um, that's a bit surprising. Um, into the dormitory. Uh, embroidered pillow. Lily didn't have any talent. <laughs> Mother Superior only allowed her to embroider crosses and lines. But Lily could barely manage even those and often received a scolding. <laughs> what do we have here? Marbles. Lily didn't know what to do with all these brand new marbles. Up until then, she had always played marbles with severed doll's head. At least they had <laughs> talked to her while she played. <laughs> oh my god. Um, that would probably just Lily stay the same. Mother Superior, but Lily... Yeah, okay. Uh, we can take the marbles. Okay, <laughs> whatever we'll do with those. I probably don't even want to know. Um, Edna. Lily had never seen Edna so worried. Not even the night that she set fire to the vestry. <laughs> um, yeah, Edna and Dr. Marcel, they know each other already from uh, the first game. <laughs> and? Are you making progress? Um, Garrett. Uh, cool, so you've been working on your imitating animal voices number. You can tell me about it later, okay? <sighs> First, we have to get rid of Garrett. I'm sure he's spying for Mother Superior. Okay, um... I'm sorry that I can't help you, but I can't risk Dr. Marcel finding me. You know what they say about him. It's all true. Except the story with the orangutan. I made <laughs> that one up. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, what about him? What about Dr. Marcel? Uh, not so loud. Dr. Marcel's ears are everywhere. <laughs> if you listen closely, you can even hear the wind blowing in his ear hairs. That guy is no joke. But you know the rumors. So watch out for him. He is evil. Evil. <laughs> Looks like a pirate or something. <laughs> okay. Um, she's going again. Was that all we could do here? That was all. Okay. Well, then I'd say uh, in the next episode, we'll go to the dormitory, leave our room. Seems like there's only Edna's and Lily's room. And then we'll um, explore the area a bit more, the house a bit more, the nun's house, and see what we can do. 
and I uh, hope we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.